told my teammates I, I can't put myself in a situation like that to, you know, leave them out there to battle out against a tough team, you know, without me out there. So, I mean, but granted, we still could have won the game, I felt like, but I can't put my guys in that, in that type of situation, you know, to. So you gave him an apology? Who? Your teammates? Yeah, yeah. First thing, I, as soon as it happened at halftime, I apologized, and I apologized again after the game, man, because that's it's unacceptable by me, for sure. You know, I got to show better leadership and, and better control as well. I'm sorry, Brad. Did you feel like this game early on was just a little bit too chippy and could have some of that could have been alleviated if it was handled properly? Yeah. Yes and no. You know, it's part of. I think it's always part of hoops. You know, but there are sometimes where things do get. You know, it's, there's a there's a line that you cross, and you know sometimes people cross it. But um, at the end of the day, uh, it was a little chippy. But you know, that's basketball. You know, I, I still shouldn't put myself in the type of situation to, to even be involved in it. Did you say anything to that fan when you were walking out? It looked like you just smiled at him. I just smiled at him because, like, you're, you're going to flick me off and just say F you. Like, come on, my man. Like, at least, like, I got ejected. It is what it is. Just go enjoy the game. Like, it's, that was to me, that was a little bit unnecessary. But I'm not going to stoop to his level and do anything vulgar like that.